to bring my observations to the people that uh, lost their property and uh, have their property destroyed here by the very, very uh, intense fire that developed last night here after the explosion that happened uh, uh, in what we believe is a illegal uh, filling the garage uh, at which um, we believe should have been uh, closed down, but we will uh, follow through with the right channels to ensure that that is uh, affected. Uh, and we want to say that uh, for the people who have been impacted, they have been attended at our facilities. Uh, over 200 people have been uh, attended to a discharge from uh, our facilities. And uh, we are looking forward to finalizing um, the others, about 50 who are outstanding at the Emergency Hospital. Uh, today we are here because we want to support uh, the people who have been impacted. We want to uh, see who it is we can uh, help with the uh, temporary uh, accommodation. We are looking at a uh, community center, a social forum, where we can uh, uh, work together with the Red Cross and the national government agencies to be able to, to deliver that. But uh, His Excellency the Governor Sakaja has sent word that uh, we should work with the, the people that are on the ground to provide uh, basic uh, relief. And as soon as we have done the integration, we'll be able to uh, support them, we'll be able to, to, to do that. And, and uh, I wish to urge all of our citizens to ensure that they observe safety and security. And where we have this kind of uh, facility being run in the neighborhood, they should talk to us, they should be able to ensure that uh, the relevant agencies come and uh, stop them uh, from uh, operating such a facility. The county government is committed. Uh, we are committed to ensuring that uh, uh, we support our people. I want to make sure that we give the right, <coughs> the right level of. Uh, assistance and, and we are going to wait and um, to get the enumeration of who it is that is impacted because uh, we need to know who are the individuals who are living here, who are the individuals who are businesses here, and then we can do what, what we need to do to be able to support them. You could speak a bit about the medicines that have been Yes, um, last night is the result of the last quite a number of people got uh, minor to significant injuries. Uh, a large number of these people uh, went to Mamalusi Hospital. Uh, we suffered a large uh, a deluge of, uh, of, of patients who were seeking uh, attention. And therefore, uh, some of the medication we had ran out. Uh, but we quickly looked at our other facilities and we brought uh, supplies to, to the hospital. So that is where we've been able to so far attend to about 200 people. And we have about 52 remaining who are being attended to their facilities. They are attended to give them first aid. And uh, whatever is needed, uh, the county is, is providing, uh, unless somebody is looking for specialized attention, in which case we prefer those to Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral uh, Hospital uh, or uh, um, Kenyatta National Hospital uh, so that they can get further attention in those places. But our hospitals have the facilities we need to be able to attend to the patients. What can we expect in the next 24 hours? In, in, in the next 24 hours, we will be uh, settling uh, the people who have been impacted in our social hall that we have identified, uh, and we will take in the support from the other agencies, the other players who are in this. Uh, we will also uh, be providing some of them with blankets, uh, some to look at the procurement process to be able to get them some materials to build. But it is important we identify uh, the people who are infected because we cannot uh, do it on a whole, whole scale. We need to do that. And that is why using the chiefs and using the local leadership as well as the Red Cross, uh, we are waiting for that to be validated and then we can, we can move it. Thank you very much. It's just the beginning of 2024. I think we should be able uh, Tunasikia ya 
wali wali nyumba zao zilichomeka na mikakatia tu inaendelea ya kuwasaidia pamoja na mkuu wa SMIO na MC wa SMIO tulienda pale mimi nafikiri mliona hapo na governor Sakaja alituma ujumbe tukishakadiria ni kina nani walikuwa uh, impacted na hiyo pia tunawasaidia kujenga uh, biashara zao na nyumba zao Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much.